Welcome back. This is Ink, and in today's problem, we're going to apply nodal analysis to determine the current IX. If we were to try mesh, we have four mesh and we have one dependent current. So thus we would have one, two, three, probably three equations and a few unknowns. But in this case, let's apply nodal analysis. To determine the current IX, the first thing we want to do is write the equation for IX. So the current IX is equal to, if you notice, the voltage at that terminal is going to be the 12.3 volts. So the current IX is the difference in voltage across the 10 ohms divided by that 10 ohms. So that would be 12.3 minus, let's give this terminal a name and let's call it V1. Minus V1 all over 10 ohms is equal to I x to find i x however we need to find the voltage at this terminal let's call it v2 applying kcl at the so to find i x we definitely need to know v1 and to know v1 we want to know the voltage at v2 so at v1 let's apply kcl so v1 applying kcl we see that's v1 the difference at the 12.3 volts all divided by that same 10 ohms plus v1 with reference to ground let's put a ground divided by that four and always you can say v1 minus zero volts because ground is zero volts all over four plus v1 with reference to v2 so that's minus v2 all over that 20 ohms and that's equal to zero next equation is v2 next equation is kcl at v2 call it v2 if you care if you want so v2 with reference to v1 and that's divided by 20 ohms plus v2 with reference to the 12.3 volts And that's all over the five ohm, five ohms resistor, and this is V two across the five ohms resistor. And then we have V two with reference to ground, so that's zero volts all over the two ohms resistor. And at V two, we have a current entering V two, so that's a negative current, so that would be negative two x to ix and that's equal to zero solution um, of the three equations you could substitute ix and then solve for so you have substitute you have 12 point um, 12 24.6 minus 2v1 divided by 10 or you could just divide um the 10 by 2 and have 23 20 you could have 12.3 minus v1 over 5 if you substitute um ix negative 2 thus you would you know solve them simultaneously and v1 is then equal to 3.8 volts and v2 we don't need we don't need v2 in this case but if you solve them simultaneously, you're going to get V2, so 5.8 volts. And that's the equation to the two. And to solve for, solve for Ix, we just substitute V1, and we have Ix equaling to 0 0.85 amperes, or milliamperes. And that's it. See you in the next problem. Bye.